Surveillance photos show officers under fire inside this Midtown Wendy's. They fire back, killing the robber, but there's also a tragic result. One of the cops guys has been hit by gunfire when he's squad here now. Bryce Dion, working audio for the cops TV show, hit and killed by an officer's bullet that slipped past his body armor. We watch as medics try to save him as his co-worker carries their camera and mic to a cruiser. Their boss feels like he lost a family member. Honestly, he's, he really is one of our best. The evidence of the violence is easy to see in the daylight at the Wendy's and the business next door. Evidence of an accident that haunts Omaha's police chief. Personally, I will live, the, live with this forever. And, and on a, if I'd have known this would happen, of course I wouldn't have done it. And we learned the new breaking details on the case today. The cops crew had one week left in Omaha when this shooting happened late last night. The crew pulled up to the scene with officers when a detective asked for backup at the Wendy's at 43rd and Dodge. Police gave us this surveillance picture of the suspect, Cortez Washington. They say he was pointing this gun, so they opened fire. It turned out to be an airsoft pistol. Police bullets ended up killing Cortez Washington and COPS TV employee Bryce Dion. Now, three officers are on paid administrative leave. KTV News Watch 7's Dave Roberts joins us live. Dave. Well, police uh, painted a very vivid picture of what they say happened. Three police officers rushing into an armed robbery happening at this Wendy's. The confrontation that followed left a robber dead and also an audio technician. Now, here are some violent still images that depict that desperate scene. 32 year old Cortez Washington, armed with an airsoft pellet gun, points and shoots his weapon twice at three Omaha police officers Darren Cunningham, Brooks Riley, and Jason Wilhelm. Police say the gun sounded real. When they returned fire, one of the officers' bullets caught COPS TV show's audio technician Bryce Dion under his arm. He was trapped in the Wendy's vestibule when the shooting started. We're told he was wearing a bulletproof vest, but the bullet entered a small space the vest doesn't protect. Nobody wanted Bryce to get hurt. Nobody wanted anybody to get hurt. Police work is very dangerous. It's very chaotic. And when you're reporting police work and riding along with us, unfortunately, you subject yourself to that same level of violence that, that Omaha police officers do every day. The robber Cortez died from his gunshot wounds at the scene. We're told that Dion later died from his gunshot wound at the Nebraska Medical Center. Now, the person, the people that will be handling this investigation, we're told, is the officer involved investigation squad. At this time, we're told no outside law enforcement agency will be helping out with this investigation, at least for now. We're live at 43rd and Dodge, Dave Roberts, KETV, News Watch 7. Thank you, Dave. The producers of COPS call the death of their crew member tragic, but say in no way is it a negative reflection of Omaha. This is video we captured of the TV crew in July. Langley Productions confirms this is Bryce Dion, a single 38-year-old from the Boston area. Dion's been with COPS reality show for seven years. Honestly, he's one of our best guys. Just promoted this year, very talented, very dedicated to his job. And it's hard for me. I hired him, so it's hard for me to talk about. Cops Reality Show has been in Omaha for two months, taping its 27th season. Crews were scheduled to be done next week. No word if that timeline has changed. And we're learning more about the suspected robber, too. Cortez Washington is 32 years old. He was currently on parole until 2017. The police chief says he has a lengthy criminal history, including guns and attempting to run from officers. Well,